how do we find the dimensions of cylindrical can to give minimum cost? That is what we are going to discuss with strategy to prove it. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this playlist, we are going to discuss a very important question based on optimization application. A soda can of volume 500 centimeter cube is to be constructed. The material for the top costs twice as that of the material for the bottom and sides. Find the dimensions that will minimize the cost of producing the can. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So, for optimization questions, we should first sketch a diagram, relate the variables. So, in this case, we have a cylindrical can, which may look like this. Let us say that the radius of the top and bottom is r and the height is h of this particular can. So, in that case, what is the volume? Area of the base times height, right? So, the volume is pi r square times height. We are given this volume as 500 centimeter cube. So, 500 is pi r square h. We need to find the dimensions that will minimize the cost means surface area, right? Now, from here, we can relate radius with height. So, let us write down height in terms of radius. We get height as equal to 500 over pi r square. So, the given volume helps us to relate one variable to the other. So, we related h with r. Now, let us find the formula for surface area. So, the surface area is how much? The surface area for the can is pi r square, which is the top plus pi r square, which is the bottom, plus the lateral area 2 pi r times height. That is the surface area. Now, we need to minimize the cost, right? And we are also given that the material of the top costs twice as that of the other two sides, means bottom and the lateral area. So, as far as the cost is concerned, we can write the cost C for this particular can as twice pi r square, which could be the top, plus pi r square as such, right, and 2 pi r h. Right? So, this will be actually multiplied by some parameter. Let us say one unit is the cost for other sides, right and twice means it is doubled, right? So, we have assumed a cost of one unit per square centimeter in this case, right? So, now once you have this equation, which is now 3 pi r square plus 2 pi r, and now this h can be replaced with the relation which we just figured out, 500 by pi r square. And let us simplify this, we get 3 pi r square plus pi r gets cancelled. And so, we have a simplified version which is 1000 over r. So, that becomes the cost equation and that should help you to find the answer. So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear. So, at this stage, I like you to pause the video, answer, 
and then look at the my suggestions. Makes sense, right? Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address. Important given. test question. Most of my students are the maximum right area of rectangles in some are getting in awards and scholarships like Akshay. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulin Leader Award is Akshay Kandilani. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us find the solution of this particular equation. That is, how do we minimize the cost? So, the equation is cost is 3 pi r square plus 1000 over r, right? So, we have the cost C as 3 pi r square plus 1000 by r, right? So, that is what we have just derived and let us now find out the minimum. To find the minimum, we have to find the first derivative and analyze it, right? So, let us differentiate with respect to R. So, we get DC, the cost with respect to R will be 6 pi R minus 1000 over R square, right? And we will equate to 0 to find the critical number. So, when you equate to 0 to find the critical number, in this equation, you can take 1 over r square common, right? So, let us take, you can also take uh, 2 from here. So, 2 over r square, I am going to take common. So, in that case, we get 3 pi minus 500 equals to 0. 3 pi r cube, right? I'm sorry. 3 pi r cube. Let me rewrite this. Because we took 1 over r square common. 3 pi r cube minus 500. Now, r cannot be 0. r has to be greater than that. And the term inside should be 0, correct? For finding the critical number. So, we have 3 pi r cube minus 500 equals to 0. That gives you the value of r cube, right? Which is 500 by 3 pi and r will be cube root of this, right? So, that 500 over 3 pi cube root will be the radius for this particular can, right? Which can give you the minimum cost. So, find the dimensions means you need to find the height also, right? So, 500 by 3 pi r cube is the radius cube root. And the expression for height was 500 over pi r square, right? So, substituting the value here, we can find the height of this particular can, right? So, so the height will be equal to 500 over pi times square of this. That means 500 
over 3 pi to the power of 2 over 3. Okay. So, that becomes the height of this particular can. So, you can now simplify this writing height as equals to 500 to the power of 1 minus 2 over 3. That means 5 to the 100 to the power of 1 over 3, right? Times 3 to the power of 2 by 3 times pi to the power of 2 by 3 minus 1, which is minus 1 over 3. So, we get the expression for height as cube root of 500 over pi and 3 to the power of 3 square cube root. Do you see that? Times 500 over pi cube root. So, that is how we are going to simplify it. So, I am showing all this because this is the part where the students get stuck, right? And we can actually, we see both our cube roots. So, we can take this 3 square inside and then find height as cube root of 3 squared is 9, 9 times 5, 45. So, that becomes the expression for height of this particular can. You get the idea. So, we can approximate these values also to get our answer. However, these are the dimensions. But there is one very important part and that is at this stage, when we figure out a critical number, we need to prove that this is indeed minimum. You get the idea. So, let us also prove that this is minimum. Correct? Now, as you can see from here, the derivative of the cos is 2 pi r square 3 pi r cube minus 500 will take a critical number which is less than this value and greater than this value correct and then we will find the value right whether it is minimum or maximum so we will try to analyze so we have 2 over r square 3 pi r cube minus 500 We are going to take a critical number on the left side and on the right side of r equals to cube root of 500 over 3 pi, correct? So, if I have a value which is, let us say, less than this, right? So, let us calculate this value so that we get some idea of the number. 500 divided by 3 and then we will cube root this number we get 3.758 So, let us take a value which is 3 on the left side and 4 on the right side. So, if I substitute a value which is lower to this, then definitely it will be lower to 500 and we will get a negative answer here, right? 
we are calculating BC over BR. And we substitute 4, we get a value which is more than 500. And so, we are going to get a positive answer here. That means that the derivative will be decreasing and then increasing. And that results into the minimum cost. You get the idea, right? So, that is how we can show that for these dimensions, we will have the minimum cost of the can. So, our solution now is R is equal to 500 over 3 pi cube root and high is equal to Q root of 4500 over pi. Perfect. So, I hope you have understood how do we solve these questions. The last part here which shows that this critical number is indeed a minimum is very important and without that you cannot get full marks for this question. So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.